Hello, friends. Today, we are kind of testing out the landlord expansion in BitLife. So you guys know I took a break from like playing BitLife, right? And so I kind of played the landlord a bit expansion pack to kind of see what it was like and see how detailed it was, but I didn't really dive into it because in case I did ever go back to making videos on the new content, I didn't want to like already have done everything. I wanted to save some of it for videos in case I did use it. But today we're gonna go over the landlord. I wanna make some fun videos with it. So if you guys wanna become a channel member, just hit the join button down below. You get exclusive little badges and emotes and as well as some perks. So go check that out if you want and let's check out the landlord expansion pack. So I kinda like fast forwarded to the fun part because I needed to get a job and make some money and then my dad ended up dying so I got his inheritance. But now I have a million dollars in the bank so we can afford a property in America. While it was gone, I noticed all like the houses changed with the landlord up. Pretty interesting because it was the same for a long time. Now we have like futuristic homes. We have penthouses as well as storybook homes. Like I feel like we have so many things in the game now that can make you money. We need other things that make it a little more realistic, which is why I feel like the astronaut job pack was really good because you don't make much money, but it just is such an interactive experience. Now, in theory, it's definitely better to mortgage out a house and then have your renters pay your mortgage. But for the purpose of this kind of like introductory video, I'm gonna buy it straight out. So, you know, I'll probably experiment with both. Okay, so this one's old, but it's also good to get a house in good condition. So that means you can up the rent, you know? So let's buy cash. I remember like in my grandparents' time, it was like a dream to become a landlord. Like it was like you made it if you became a landlord and owned like condos or houses or stuff. Now it's kind of like landlords like take advantage of people. I know houses in like 1900s were like $2,000. <laughs> I wish. So we bought our property. So you go to manage properties. And I just thought it was really interesting. The fact that you can add like amenities to your house. Cause like, you know, when you rent an apartment, they'll be like amenities. It's like, there's a pool table. Or I remember when I had that video, when I was like, how to reach a billion dollars. That was before any of these like job packs, expansion packs, updates came out. Like only way you could ever reach a billion is by like becoming a doctor and then buying houses and flipping them. But now this adds a whole new thing because you could buy the house, it'll increase in value and you can rent it. And it kind of gives you something to do, you know, if you own multiple properties. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to up Great. Oh, so we're gonna add an amenity. Now, <laughs> do I want to be a fair landlord? Um, for the video, probably I'll make another video where for like crappy properties, I make them pay full rent. You know what I mean? So for our project, we could do a patio, a home theater, a pond, a wine cellar, a tennis court, which is insane. I feel like that would be really good because it's literally an acreage with huge land, an observatory. We're gonna do that so we can see space. Okay, we're gonna build an observatory. And okay, so now it's not just like, oh, congrats. So you built it. You have to actually find a contractor. So we found a contractor who's interested in completing our home improvement project. So it tells you the company name, like Brown Contractors. It tells you the project, obviously. And it tells you the cost. The project added value assumes 3.5%. And you can see the contractor's reputation. So you can do it, but you can look for other contractors because there could be even better contractors that charge less or there could be worse ones that charge more. Oh, I don't have the money. <laughs> So you can create a property listing. So that means there's no like guarantee of a renter. At first I thought it would like, you'd actually scroll through people. You know how like when you have coworkers or something, it's like people. I thought it was like applicants, but no, you have to actually put the listing up first before you can even find applicants. The property value is 1.1 million. You can see it also tells you your monthly expenses. So you know that you have to charge more rent than your monthly expenses, right? If you are mortgaging the property, I'm pretty sure it tells you the mortgage plus monthly expenses. You have to do the math so that you can make a profit. So key feature, you can say new toilets, open floor plan. I'm gonna say it's a uh, professionally landscaped because it is an acreage. So I feel like that's like important. So you can also advertise like a good location. Could choose a bad one, like, you know, like adjacent to a cemetery. So like you can kind of mess around with your clients if you want to be like a bad landlord. Like you could probably get a trailer, make the key feature like something dumb. <laughs> you can make the location near a cemetery and ask them for a three month deposit and then the full amount of rent. So we're gonna do trendy neighborhood. Pet policy will say all pets allowed. So we have a more likelihood of like people joining, but you can also say dogs only, cats only. Dogs and cats are none. I'm saying all because I have a bunny. We need bunnies to be allowed. So we'll say all pets allowed and you can ask for a different deposit. You got one month, two months three months. It'll be like a pretty good landlord. I guess we'll do one month. And the rent per month, it could be as low as 370, which would make us lose money. So we could like, 
We could literally do so many things. We could be a really bad landlord in the sense of like being mean and making it not worth it, you know? Like evicting our tenants for no reason, charging them the full amount of rent possible per month even when there's no amenities. Or we could be a bad landlord in the sense of like a dumb landlord. So we can do one month rent, make the rent less than our monthly expenses, and then never evict the people even though they're not paying rent, you know? So you can do it like in a couple of ways. So I say we're gonna do just about average, 7,500. And we got a client. You can approve them on the spot. You can do background check pass and stop looking or pass and keep looking so it tells you a few things at first you know their name their gender their age and who will be in the household so for us it's just one adult which is Gregory and he didn't have the best first impression just because you have a good impression with someone doesn't mean they don't have a criminal record for like fraud or they have good credit just because it's a bad first impression doesn't mean they won't have good credit or they don't have a criminal record first impression I feel like doesn't really matter I think it's always worth to do the background check so you can perform a background check however it costs $150 is kind of sucks if you have no money he tells you now their income his is forty three thousand a year but our rent is seven thousand a month seven thousand a month times 12 months is like 90k or something like that so he might not be the best candidate for that but if we were a bad landlord in the sense of like a dumb landlord we would accept him anyways even with a criminal record and his criminal record is aiding and abetting we probably wouldn't accept him but i think the main thing is the income why we wouldn't accept him so we're just gonna look for another candidate okay so here we have violet hunter criminal activity was speeding so it doesn't really have anything to do with money so that would be good but we're still gonna look for another candidate and there's no one left so we have to do it all over again <laughs> okay so we found one with a really good first impression it would be two adults with three dogs ladies and gentlemen we're still doing a background check she's a celebrity voice actor her income is enough she makes over 400k her criminal activity was vandalism see i want to accept her because of the money oh i forgot it also shows credit score i totally forgot about that credit score again is the main thing it, it, if they have good credit if they can make payments so she doesn't have a good credit score she has enough money to pay the rent but her criminal activity is vandalism so she could vandalize our place so again we have to look for another one okay this one i hope is good because it's two adults they have kids so hopefully they're they're like good people you never know they have a dog and five cats i kind of worried about the five cats but you know what the fact that they have kids and cats makes me think that they can take care of things so it's good first impression but again background check he has a nine million dollar income he can definitely afford the rent he has a good credit score his criminal activity was driving while intoxicated so he doesn't maybe make the best decisions but at least it wasn't related to money so we'll just approve his application Prin trong has agreed to move to your property and let's do it so now if you own a property there's like owned and then there's rented so when it's rented you can see your renters um, um, satisfaction. Here we have property inspection so you can see the property condition, you can see the person's satisfaction. It also allows you to drop in on them with no notice which I think is illegal. So you can do none 24 hours, 7 days, 14 days, 30 days. This is kind of like instead of renovating what we would do because you can't renovate while the tenants are there maintenance so to keep the condition good because you know how before we would renovate the property for condition while you're renting it you can only do maintenance. You can pick your budget of course depends how much money you have. You can also upgrade amenities but you can't do that while there's a renter. You'd have to evict the renter or they'd have to leave and then you can upgrade your amenities and now if we actually click the tenant you can evict them <laughs> literally with nothing i tried it once and it worked but i've never tried it enough to see if they could ever sue you for it because i think you can do that in real life but you can befriend him ask him out hook up with him <laughs> my mother passed away every year you'll get the pop-up of real estate portfolio so you can see that our net earnings for the year was 76 thousand dollars just from one property we don't even have a mortgage so this is literally all going in our pocket if you have a mortgage though you're paying off the house every month but it's more important to get net earnings and make sure you get a profit you get a little warning here. It says you might want to drop in on your tenant, which means he might not be doing that good stuff. I'm still a banker. Kind of want to quit that job. I kind of just want to focus now on the uh, properties now that I have enough money. Okay. So they said we want to drop in on our tenant. So we're going to do a little inspection. So we're going to do a 24 hour drop in. We're going to give him some time, you know, if he's growing anything you know what i mean oh god okay so while performing a routine home inspection of your five bedroom acreage you discover your tenant has damaged your property see but like gives you a little warning they're like hey girl like you should check in on Trent. like you never know what he's doing but like he's probably fine so he painted the living room lilac without your permission so the repair cost is 1600 the property condition went down a bit so you can either charge him for repairs evict him do nothing if we're being a stupid landlord would do or pay for it myself which again we do if we're being a dumb landlord it would have been fine if he asked us but the fact that he didn't ask us we're gonna charge him Trin agreed to pay the 1600 
standard. After you've rented for at least one year, guys, you can go to your lease agreement and adjust the terms. So let's say you're being a little fancy like and you want to up the rent to 8600 You want to all of a sudden to the five cat owning family be like, no pets allowed. You can do that. So we're going to charge $14,000 for rent every year the house value goes up and we're going to confirm the current rent was 7500 with pets allowed. Now we're going to go no pets allowed, 14000 and see if Trin will be okay. He's informed you he's moving out. <laughs> because we changed our pet policy. Sometimes if you increase the rent, the people will stay, but the pets, they'll probably leave. So the property was in perfect condition. What about the lilac walls, honey? <laughs> we're gonna return his deposit. If you don't return his deposit and you keep it without justification, you're gonna get sued. You can't afford the new rent. He has pets. I'm going to sell this property because we got more money from our mom. Okay, so we're gonna buy a new place. So we're gonna try out now the mortgaging and I'll show you guys how that works. But we're gonna go the mortgage route. We're gonna mortgage this contemporary home. It's about 500,000 and it's in good condition, which is the most important. So I don't have to do any like renovation. But we could do flipping as well. You could flip the house so it's better condition. So we're gonna mortgage this and we get another one. Okay, we'll do modern home. Okay, so we still have a million in the bank. <laughs> we're gonna go to our contemporary home. You know how it says renovate all properties? There needs to be one that says sell all properties or sell all owned properties. Now that there's like a landlord expansion or sell all rental properties like it's you can renovate them all but then to sell them all is so annoying so we need to have that feature and then it'll say oh like six out of 20 houses sold so we'll add a swimming pool and it added a value of twenty thousand dollars so hopefully as it adds value every single year that twenty thousand will turn into even more adult playroom let's do it no why are all the green bars bad let's do it whatever oh he completed a three thousand over budget <sighs> we'll only do one then for that okay so we're gonna rent out both now you can see here that before or it just showed the property value and monthly expenses. So now I see here it shows mortgage as well. So now you kind of need to worry about like the monthly expenses, right? It's not just $400, it's now $2,500. So a key feature is minimalist design is just minutes from the local college is a red flag for a lot of people because that means there's a lot of young people partying and I can't handle that. Amenity will go with gym, dogs and cats only. Let's just do that, let's change it up. And we'll do two months rent. And because we have amenities and we have a mortgage, we'll increase the price to 4,000. Oh, we finally found someone good. Oh my God. They make 300,000 so they can definitely afford 4,000 a month. Good credit score, like medium to good. They don't have any criminal activity or past evictions. So we'll approve. Okay, let's do it. So let's get a renter for our second property. And yeah, as you can see, it says owned and rented. So owned is the one like we live in and rented obviously has the renter. So let's rent this one out too. The amenities and adult playroom. For that, we're gonna make it like 3,500 a month. But it has an adult playroom, you know? <sighs> they make 58,000, good credit score, driving while intoxicated. They don't make good decisions, but they might be able to pay. Let's approve her. Let's see, I have faith. I have faith in Maddie. I have faith. Let's see if my faith was correct. <laughs> Maddie Burton, why did you do that to me? You've done it, Maddie Burton is three months behind on rent. I had faith in you. Demand payment. Tells you you'll get the money lickety split. Evict her or come back later. We'll give her one more chance. So the total revenue was 80,000. But again, we have mortgage, we have monthly expenses. Uncollected rent is 10K. So our net earnings was 28. So next year, we'll check on Maddie. So for now, the satisfaction is pretty good. So we'll keep it at that. 10. <laughs> <laughs> just three months bro you make 300k how are you how are you what are you spending your money on oh he claims a drifter mugged him why are you carrying sixty thousand dollars of cash on you demand payment bro okay he paid it back see this year i guess we collected all the rent i think maddie paid this year because it doesn't say uncollected so net earnings was thirty nine thousand. So let's check on our girl maddie and demand the rent she missed i, mean, I think we can do that oh, maddie she paid hesitation i knew i trusted you maddie i want to show you guys how you can literally i think this is going to be the last part of this video because i'm going to do more dedicated videos in the future you can literally just go to your tenants and evict them for no reason she left the property in pristine condition oh let me show you what happens when you keep her deposit anyways you successfully evicted your tenant okay and now she sues <laughs> So when you keep their deposit, when they left it in good condition, they'll sue you. So it's exactly like real life. So they're suing me and they want a settlement offer of 65,000. That is more than she ever paid rent to me. Fight the lawsuit, baby. Cruz and Gambino, I defended myself. <laughs> So I evicted her and kept her deposit. Yeah, that's pretty much my little exploration with the landlord expansion pack. So if you guys have any tips or tricks or video ideas you want me to use with it, feel free to comment it down below. And remember, if you want to become a member of the channel, you can join that as well. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.